Hello, welcome to Just Birds Row. Today I'm going to go over these two ducks. Um, I recently had a huge purge. I took a box of donations to a local metaphysical store today and I got these in exchange. I still have credit. But however, I, I purchased the Heavenly Bloom by what is by Noah Ikeda. I've never seen this deck or heard of it, nor have I heard of the Divine Feather. I didn't do, you know, I didn't look online to see a walkthrough or anything of either one of these decks before purchase. And I must say, I'm really not um, disappointed. I'm actually very pleased. And there's one more deck that I didn't purchase. And I think I will go back and pick that up um, maybe in a few weeks or next month, whenever I feel like uh, the need for or the want or desire for something new, I'll go back and purchase that or something else. However, I'm not going to look it up. <laughs> like, I, I don't even remember the name, but if I saw it, I would I would know what it was. But I'm not going to look it up and do a, you know, I, I liked a very pleased with my surprise. So let me get into it. So this is a little kitty, just a little, you know, um, stone. I don't, I didn't ask what kind of stone it was, but whatever. It's nice. And selenite with the feather. Isn't that beautiful? I picked this up before I even saw this, but since I had this already at the counter, I was like, well, I might as well go with this deck. Because I had two other decks um, completely in my hands. So here's Divine Feather Messenger. And there's an introduction spread. Then it gets into the elements, it gets into the seasons, and the colors, and their glossary, and some a nice message for everything with the energies, the season, the element, the color, and the affirmation. Very nice, and we'll choose one out of the book later. However, cardstock is mass market kind of cardstock who who produces this u.s games cardstock so i really love the size of both of these decks i'm so pleased i i can't even believe that i chose these for myself i'm just so pleased with them let me see if i can zoom you in just a little bit here let's see well there we go let's put the boxes out of the way i'm sorry folks <laughs> But, so there's that. And then the Heavenly Bloom. Here are the backings. I was so surprised by this deck. Rose Gold Guild. And then it's like a cross between, it seems like some, a little bit of anime and realism with fantasy. It's all cool i don't know it's just it's super cool so i really pleased with it the backings i'm not put off by that i think they're pretty they're simple and i like i do like simple but wow 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 i'm just pleased let's see the power to heal the earth is within you white turkey okay the power, what does it say? To heal the earth is within you. Yeah, look. use your creativity. Don't wait on it. Get moving. Do something that you love. Accept an offer. Their book is lovely too. It has a, a page on each, you know. Not sure about spreads. Didn't see any. <laughs> I guess that may be in the back. Nope, doesn't matter. Make up your own. Very nice though. Very I'm I'm so pleased. Pay attention. A powerful message is being communicated to you now. 
we have the seven of laurels and the nine cups. So that's pentacles. We have the ace of swords, queen, three of laurels. White feather. The white eagle. The connection to divine guidance is within you. Aren't they just nice messages? Oh my goodness, I'm so pleased. So pleased because it never works out for me like that. You know, it just doesn't. It, usually if I go off on a whim without the oohs and the ahs and the oh, looky, looky, you know, um, I'm at a loss But when I bring it home, you know, and it's like, oh, what did I, what did I pick up? <laughs> well, I'm very, very pleased. I have a thing for feathers. I always have one on my desk. I have one in the other room. I have them in my car. I take walks um, just to look for feathers. I've never, I don't purchase feathers, you know, I just find them and keep them. It's probably gross. I know you can tell me about it in the comments. People are so rude on YouTube. Even it, like this community kind of like ticks me off too, especially about the dummy decks. I need to do a video on it, but I get upset because people tend to act like if you have a dupe deck, um, you're the worst. Uh, you know, I buy Equate. I buy knockoff handbags, perfume. I don't buy prescription drugs that are, the, I want the generic to save money, right? So I don't believe, I think that this YouTube community just is a little too bougie for some of us bargain bees that like a deal, you know, like I, I like a deal and I like to share about it. You know, I, I do. I love to share where I got something for a really good price. You know, I think, I don't know, that's who I am. But people think, oh, some people don't think you should say a price. Other people think you should be totally transparent. <sighs> I didn't pay for these, but I did give a box of lightly used or like open box decks for the store that can, that, you know, they can sell. And I didn't want, I didn't want uh, a gift or a credit wasn't looking for a credit. I was just looking to get certain decks into the proper hands. And if you're going to a metaphysical store, then chances are it'll be going to somebody, you know, that's interested. Someone that's not just looking for content. Because I wanted to give them away, like gift, gift the decks. But then I, how I forgot that, like, I'm not willing to go get a P.O. box in order to send things off to people. Totally forgot. And that, you know, there's a lot of loose screws out here. I was reminded, though, because one of them tried to get a hold of me recently. <laughs> it's like, ding, ding, ding. Remember, you're on the interwebs. These people are not your friends. I mean, shoot, they're judging you because you have a, a dupe deck. And I love it. Four ninety nine on Amazon. Hundred dollars. But I buy, you know, I'll wear a basic edition t shirt from Walmart instead of going to Calvin Klein and paying fifty dollars for the same t shirt. Just better quality. And when Amazon, Etsy, Walmart, eBay, uh, Macari, when all of these big, large corporations stop allowing it on their platforms, then I'll stop purchasing. Because quite frankly, <laughs> they're really getting good. Like they have mass market um, card stock and full-size decks and now they're printing out the guidebooks too 
for ten dollars versus you know seventy seven dollars not going against the creators i get it but we all sell out in that regard unless you're really bougie and you pay top dollar for your prescriptions that's my thing is like the value the value of of the people that are saying you know things about people who have you know we don't use those over here well i use them over here you know i'm not about wasting my money and i use what i have and that's what i have and it's what others may be able to afford but we all sell out like who doesn't have a store-bought product are you telling me that like if that's the value for tarot then i hope to goodness you don't have on you know bobo birkenstocks i hope you're paying 180 dollars for your sandals too you know what i mean but i see your attire and you're paying you're not paying you're ripping off the designers and johnson and johnson and procter and gamble you see what I'm saying? Like, it, like we all sell out. So don't shut someone down because they sold out in the tarot world because that's what they can afford. Maybe they can only afford a four ninety nine knockoff because they're paying eight hundred and ninety nine dollars for a medication every month. But let's not consider those folks. They don't deserve to have anything. Unless they can afford to pay the bougie price for it. It's just a shame. And pitiful. Not to mention like, oh, become a member. So, I, so you can watch me open the stuff that you paid for. That you sent me. Now you get to join my membership. Pay another fee. So I can show you what, what you paid sent me and I'll place a link down there so that other people can click on it and buy what I have and I can make more money. It just seems like a grift. It's not a business model for me. That's all I can say. I'm not that personality type. I don't I have a really hard time charging people for services. Um I believe in time though. Like I just have a hard time for, for this service in particular. Uh, and that's that's a qualm because my mother read and always read cards for donations only. It's just, you know, it's what has worked in my family and I'll continue to be like that versus pay me, 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 pay me. And a lot of people, it seems on YouTube and not just YouTube, but like social media world, want people to pay them but there's no portfolio you just have to trust the person's word that they've studied and they're in practice and you know i don't know i'm i i don't work like that either like if you're gonna say that you have so many years of experience um and then i expect like a portfolio of all of these years of experience and testimonies from others something at least an example reading for free can you do an example reading for free so that we can see where your talent lies or is that too much to ask I'm not talking about any person okay in particular I'm talking about like as a whole like, like just as a whole I don't know but I don't know why people do things that they do you know I don't care what I care about is people begrudging and belittling others because they don't have the means and you don't even know their situation nor care to ask let's just you know and act as if everyone lives in the United States of America and is just so privileged you know recognize your privilege even the people in america who are broke we are so privileged here you have a roof you have inter if you have internet and you're on youtube whether you're viewing youtube or you're a creator on youtube you are privileged unfortunately and, you know people 
are cruel and they think they're better than because they have more stuff. I'll tell you what, having more things doesn't make you a better person, it doesn't make you kinder, it doesn't make you wealthier, richer, or more successful. It certainly doesn't make you a better reader. Read your cards, that's how you become good. Practice, that's how you get better. You Read, and I have the same problem, you know, I have the same problem with consumerism and abundance of stuff that I don't use and I don't like that about myself. Um, I really don't like that. But there's always room for growth and change. And I'm actively working toward that change. Like I said, I went to the metaphysical store. I haven't stepped in the metaphysical store in years. And I felt like I was right back at home, <laughs> right? And I physically picked up decks with my own two hands without going through a flip through or anybody else's opinions on what my purchase would be or what my desire or what my like or what I'm drawn to is, right? There's no input. It was just me, my two hands, my two eyes, and a mutt that was in the shop just giving me all sorts of loves and hugs and kisses and that was a beautiful way to begin my day and this for me is just replacing some things that I didn't have it didn't I didn't have any intention on purchasing anything today I really just wanted to give them as a gift and there was one deck that I wanted to make sure that the the owner who wasn't there um, got her hands on i just wanted to make sure that she could have that but her husband was there and he can he, he can see that she gets it right and so it was lovely and i'm pleased like i didn't expect i mean i haven't been to a spiritual shop and isn't that just beautiful i mean just so pretty and it puts me like this uh, is something that I don't mind purchasing for myself. I was going to purchase this um, anyway. I, I had it, I was going, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, I'm going to get that. And I looked at the price, and the price is right. Under $10, folks. The price is right. <laughs> Whenever anything's under $10 in my in my world, it's a, it's a bargain, it's a deal, it's a steal. And I really like to share those things with people and even if it means a dummy deck right because i'm not so bougie that i can't do this and i utilize these decks you know i have this one this is incredible cardstock this is better than mass market cardstock it's smooth the imagery the size is great i don't regret that purchase but i did purchase like for every dummy deck I have, I, I purchase the real one, right? I have this too. And this is a new purchase. I haven't read with this at all, but I have been reading faithfully with this. And I quite enjoy it. Now, this one's heavy and bigger and bulkier. And this one feels much better in my hand. So I'm not sure which one I'll actually be using because uh, uh, the hands and the heaviness and the... It's, it's a thing for me. So, you know, I have them both, though. The Archetypes deck is, my, is a dummy deck, too. Look at how perfect of a size this is, right? This is lightweight. It's mass market cardstock. It's thinner, actually, but what a great size. There's the imagery. It's not bad at all. For $4.44, well, I got it. And then, like, I purchased this, and I can't even get my, like, the, the deck is too big. I can't, I can't um, shuffle it. I can't get my hands all the way around the deck to shuffle it. And it's very, like, heavy and hard to shuffle. So, I purchased the original because I, I want the book right and so we have now I have the book however 
I'm still gonna use this size deck, this one, um, it, to read with because of it's the, of the size. Now, if you have that same issue with this deck, Kim Kranz has a pre-order. I ordered mine via uh, Barnes and Nobles, and for twenty one ninety nine, which is the cost of it's not the cost it's not the price I bought mine on eBay for eight bucks but twenty one ninety nine I think is the price on Amazon because I was going to purchase it from Amazon but I'm a patient person I'll, I'll sit out a you know uh, an auction or whatever and and hope to be the lowest bidder right and I picked this up you will hate me because it's like eight it was under eight dollars <laughs> anyway there we go so that's what I'll be using with that and I have this this one I prefer uh, you know for the weight for the deck however I I don't have the original of this one and I am going to get it because I'm I'm being pulled and drawn toward the animal spirit in which I have been using this and I just so drawn to it now because I have have these things like for the gals guys uh, that go through like that that whole thing like I just went through with the like having to purge of your decks and wanting to get you know just free yourself from things and items you know shopping in your own closet is wonderful <laughs> had I done so I wouldn't have ever ended up with this dummy deck, which I did get my money back for. Um, however, I had the original in my collection, but I I didn't know it was there. You know, it, well, I'm sure I knew it was there, but I had forgotten all about this deck. And when I was like, oh, I had seen somebody else use it. Uh, instead of looking in my own belongings for this particular, I went and purchased it, and I got the dummy, and here I had the real deal all along. So I say, like, I took two years off, and when I put cards back in my hand, everything feels different. Things that used to, I was drawn to, I'm not really drawn to anymore. I want new experiences with the cards. I'm being pulled in this direction, in this direction, in this direction. And I want to learn the archetypes and get into the books. So I'm just in a different space um, these days as far as like tarot and practice, um, things like that. As far as, I know there's tarot tag out there. Um, oh, I really like this chick. What's her name? Her channel name. Um, oh, tarot readings from a bee. If, you know, I-T-C-H. <laughs> tarot readings from a bee. Yeah, I like her. I like her. I had watched her do a reading for herself. It was the January, her, her January reading the, for the new year. And immediately, I liked this woman energy because she said something along the lines of if you hear my kids in the background you know they're in the other room playing whatever probably video games or something and so if you hear them calling each other outside of their names like f-bombs and a-bombs and whatever is going to fly out of their mouths not to worry it's just her kids I could so relate to that back in the day when my kids were around when they were kids <laughs> and because a term of endearment like if I call my kid an asshole um, it was a term of endearment <laughs> it's one that I still use today they even do a little something where they on their chest they'd be like who's your favorite asshole I am <laughs> you know it's just a little competition but I appreciate I really um, dug that so I can relate. So I don't know how I feel about this community as a whole. 
uh, YouTube's sort of a joke. Every every niche or uh, door that you open is filled with hatred. It's like every single sector of YouTube is it's just filled with hate and people just love the smut and this you know the uh drama i guess they call it the uh, beef channels and drama channels and this is not that but th that is everywhere christian community is the same way it's no different everybody's judging the other person you're right i'm wrong and i mean the ridiculousness of this community is quite funny. I even support a guy, his name is Random News, and he just calls out all the buffoonery in this arena. I love it because it's sad what people, the grifting that goes on. It's really sad. And the, the way that people have treated others in the name of psychic ability or truth is really um, disheartening, I guess, <laughs> and to be honest, quite entertaining. Uh, Random News does a great job. I like to watch his videos because of his edits. I'm very tuned into videos um, because of editing. I, I watch other tarot channels to see their setups, and I want to see how they are editing their videos and anything for an edge and there's this one lady i could never do what she does <laughs> i'm not that i'm so not skilled in that department but i'm like so fascinated by it that i will take a day and just uh pretend like i know what i'm doing in the editor and chop it up and get frustrated and see if i can produce anything of that quality um at some point you ready so i like to practice and i would never upload it because it's going to be crap but i i like her um she's a part of this community too and i forget her her channel's name but i am subscribed because i can't stop watching her videos they're very they're very quick um and their information their information videos it's not like um she's not reading uh the cards but she's uh, informed about many different systems and um, ways and I guess right now she's uh, there's I don't know I think it's because of her education she's an attorney or I don't know if she's still practicing attorney but she's very articulate straight to the point and um, I suppose her the way the tone of her voice sometimes is misconstrued as her thinking that she's better than others. And I'm like, wow, like really, come on. <laughs> Can't people just be who they are without, uh, like, if, I don't know. Like, so she addressed it, apparently. Crockett, stop it. She addressed it because it was a repetitive thing. I won't be doing that because people are like evil. Like you're evil, you're Satan, you're devil worshiper. Um, you're going to hell, like all of this stuff that people love to just come in. I'm not going to address that anymore because when I do, I address it with the word of God. And I can pummel anyone with the word of God. I'm doing it to that stupid channel, the Truth Network, who likes to go over there. And, and he's no, there's no truth to what he says. It's an opinion platform. But he dismantles the word of God and then stands behind it. It's real sad when Big Bird has to tell Big Brain about the big book. You know, because Big Bird, ah, you're satanic because you read tarot. Okay, at least I know the word of God. So, you know, when I stand before the man, uh, he'll know who I am. Does he know who you are? Hmm, I don't know, Christian. He's not a Christian. Big, big Brain's got a big chain around his neck. I'm going to go off and on a gander here and say that Mr. Big Brain from the Big Apple has a big chain around his neck because he's Catholic. That's why he doesn't cover the Catholic Church. Everybody else is satanic, though. Mm -mm. I can't stand that. Every, like he, the, the belief is, all right, ooh, 
that's the wheel of fortune the wheel of life on my hand that makes me um, a Satan worshiper according to big brain and so I guess if I put a cross on which I have one around my neck right now uh, that makes me a Christian right see how stupid that is if you have a cross on you're automatically a Christian if you wear a pentacle you don't have a love for money you have a love for Satan so weird like YouTube has just utterly turned people's brains to poop and I watch it like and it's funny and entertaining because people are ridiculous and I can't believe that no one has looked up Mr. Big Brain because he was out here grifting because Mr. Big Brain from the Big Apple well he was a big fat loser he couldn't make it in the industry so he's mad and making all these videos that the, the music industry is demonic don't you see that checkerboard floor? Ha! Ah, duality. Ah. Man. There's a triangle and oh, one eye symbolism. That's all you're going to hear from him because he can't, he can't break it. He's trying to use the word of God, but he doesn't know the word of God. So he doesn't know that the answer is to repent and turn away from your sin and, you know, get saved and baptized and the whole nine. It's like... That's as far as this platform can go. What he's really trying to get at is this color right here, the color purple. You know, the color of the Catholics, because they're actually a satanic cult that, you know, that I'm not, this is not my belief. I'm talking about the truth community believes that the Catholic Church is a satanic cult and they honor a fish god and they sacrifice their children and their families and anything for everything to a Phoenician god during their ritual practice. Well, you know, those Catholics dressing up eight-year-olds to walk down an aisle to marry Jesus. And then you're the bride of Jesus, and as soon as you get married, you have to eat your husband and knock down his flesh with the cup of his blood. Sounds pretty like ritual sacrifice to me. Whew! As an eight-year-old child, it's kind of scary, but, you know, your parents want that check, that money. <laughs> because you receive confirmation. Yay. Or First Holy Communion. I never received confirmation. But, anyhow, let me stop with my rambling on welcome to the wonderful, weird world of YouTube. If you've made it this far with me, do consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Take it easy. Bye.